Good morning. So, it's 5 in the morning here, and I'm just getting home. Uh, my ex got some kind of infection in his leg, and uh, we ended up having to take him to the hospital for swelling, and they're going to have to do some surgery to flush out white blood cells, I guess, or something from an infected knee. So I've been there for all last night after having a party here uh, for families, for our family, and um, just hours at the hospital. And there's no art, there's no music, there's no editing in this video. I asked the universe for some kind of sign that things are better, they get better. And I, I think the universe has been like smacking me in the face. I don't think it's been anything subtle. You ask and uh, she gives you something back tenfold, I think, more than you ask for. First it was with the um, request for artwork in my epiphany video. Kind of to prove that there's so many people who have it much worse than you. And then I think maybe some of you are like this, that you have so much hope for the world, so much joy for other people, so much love, even for perfect strangers, that you don't know why that is, even if you don't tell other people. That's kind of how I am. I, I love people. So I'm sitting in the hospital and you see these clusters of people, nurses, just chattering away and laughing and my ex-partner is agonizing in pain. He's a, he's a bad sick person. He knows it. And then there's this man and he's just, he's rude, he's yelling at people. He's swearing, he's screaming that he's going through the DTs, which is, you know, detox from drugs or alcohol or anything like that. And they will mark away my partner for some x-rays, and he's gone for quite a while. And in that time, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm staring at this man halfway across the room, and I'm saying to myself, I just want to wash his feet. Not in a religious way. But I can see his feet are just filthy. And I just want to figure out how I can get a bucket of water and soap and a rag and go wash his feet. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. But I just wanted to wash someone's feet who looked like they needed it. And probably didn't even realize how filthy they were. So many people were sitting there just walking by and even talking to him and never even bothered to look. And then it kind of got quiet. You know, there weren't a bunch of nurses chatting and there weren't a bunch of nurses laughing and giggling and there wasn't a ruckus and even the loud man screaming was pretty quiet because I think they drugged him. And I'm sitting there and I could hear the people next to me. And it was this mother talking and answering questions to the nurse. And, you know, there's not much that's private when it's quiet in a hospital. And there's this little boy, and he's probably six to eight, and he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And I thought, how sad. And I started to cry as I heard more and more of his story and how wonderful this mother was. She never missed a beat. She answered every question, every appointment, every treatment, even the moment he was diagnosed. And this little boy, he, um, even being sick, all he wanted was a turkey sandwich. A turkey sandwich to make him happy. He had to settle for peanut butter and jelly. 
but I think to myself, here's a little boy who's gone through chemotherapy, drug treatments, pain, and a turkey sandwich would make him happy. A turkey sandwich. So there's no art in this video, there's no music, there's no fancy editing. It's just me telling you to listen. Listen with your heart, open your eyes and see the people around you. And if you ask the universe for an awakening message, you may get it in a way that you don't want it. It seems like everywhere I go, the universe is saying, let me show you how good you really, really have it. And how maybe you can help people one day. So, again, I say smile at somebody because they need it. Smile at somebody because maybe you need it. And remember that you're beautiful. Give of yourself and want nothing in return. Thanks. And good night.